mechanics if you want. Our diaphragm and intercostal muscles are contracting harder. We've now got the sternocleidomastoid clidomastoid and pectorals drawing more air into the lung. In other words, we're using up our IRV and tidal volume uh, increases as a result. Straight on, folks, because we're sort of towards the end of this canvas, so let's keep it going here. Aerobic and anaerobic exercise. So a couple of things I really want to stress other than what's on the page. Can I talk to you, please, about application? I cannot stress this enough. You folks must be able to apply these to examples. Now, we've got aerobic respiration or aerobic energy release. Can I get, again, come back to your chemistry studies? Here are your reactants. Let me choose, choose a different color. Here are your reactants. Here... In fact, I'm going to say here and here are your products. We also have the release of energy. And of course, as in all chemical reactions, this would be a balanced reaction. We're not going to get into that now, but it would be. And you guys can kind of imagine that you may well have studied um, the breakdown of glucose aerobically and anaerobically already in biology. So I'll, I'll leave that for you guys to ponder. Now, what I want to stress about aerobic respiration is the following points. It is long duration energy. So straight away with my application, I'm thinking about sports like marathon, triathlon, road cycling. I'm thinking about open water swimming. I'm thinking about 90 minutes plus extra time of a football match. I'm thinking about the entire 80 minutes of a rugby match or 70 of a hockey match. I'm talking about all that kind of stuff. That's what we're talking. We're also talking, that's why I was going to put short duration here. That's wrong. We're also talking here what I would describe as moderate intensity. They will accept low intensity activity, all right? So again, we're looking at applications where it's long duration and moderate intensity. Moderate intensity is something that's not sprinting pace, for example. You know, you're jogging. It's an awful way to describe a marathon, some of which I've done, and it definitely isn't going for a jog. But the point remains the same. Long duration, moderate intensity, your marathons, your triathlons, your anything aerobic in that context. Now, the other thing, just to stress, is it occurs with sufficient oxygen, okay? So I'm going to put this term in here for you. It occurs with sufficient oxygen present. Now, of course, we've got to deliver that oxygen. It's partly mild mechanics of breathing, right, is involved in that. Now, where that diff is different is where we come to this anaerobic, this non-aerobic system. This time, we simply convert glucose into lactic acid. So here's our reactant glucose into our product lactic acid, and we get the release of energy simultaneously. Now, this is happening during short duration, and this is happening during high intensity. So be thinking about activities like your javelin throw, anything involving a sprint. Now, can I stress here that you can simply go, right, aerobic is a marathon runner. But can you also look at, at more, if, if that aerobic system was better, more efficient, more developed, what would be the impact on the marathon runner? They would be able to run at higher speeds aerobically. What would be the impact of the anaerobic system being really effective for a javelin throw? They would be able to apply more force to the javelin and increase horizontal distance. I want to come back to these kinds of examples in a few moments in time, okay? So it's really important that we get these principles across. Now, let's look at a question. Before I need to change canvas, two questions actually. So we've got here using a sporting ex example, explain how aerobic respiration contributes to performance. Now, guys, look at me. I only picked up two out of three here, naughty, naughty Jimbo. So why was that? So I've got here, it's the whole duration of a 70 minute hockey match. Notice this term, whole duration, boom, one mark. It's at moderate intensity. So we've got this sort of notion, low moderate intensity. We've got this notion of, of the example, but I have not specifically said long duration, okay? So I've got my example. Can you see the term long duration has not been included? Now, I've maybe been a bit harsh, because we've said the whole, because we've said 70 minutes, you could argue that that is an application of that, but I was trying to emphasize a point to you guys. You must say long duration, moderate or low intensity, and give your example as well. Now, one other example here evaluate we are looking at the strengths and weaknesses of a particular thing here evaluate the role of anaerobic respiration in golf and it feels kind of weird right anaerobic like explosive high intensity what's that in golf so swinging the club during a drive from a par 5 tee shot now if you're not into golf i'm sorry for the technicality but the point is this is a long hole and this lad's smacking it off the tee so it's anaerobic it's high intensity there because it's explosive so i'm justifying so it's good for that this shot is also short duration, so that works really well for our anaerobic sort of one to two seconds. However, anaerobic systems are not needed to power finer shots sort of, uh, such as shot, um, such, not as shot putting, um, such as short putting. So if a nice gentle push of the, of the ball, we don't need the anaerobic system here. 
Walking between shots is longer. Now this is also for point three. So these sort of more gentle, longer duration, uh, lower intensity activities or just low intensity, gentle put, for example, these can be powered aerobically and the anaerobic systems do not help us with that. Okay, change of canvas, very short break. Cheers. Well, that went okay, I think. Not too bad. Yeah. Hi, so I think we're on time, which is good. We've got some great viewing stats, which is excellent. And Marta, I'm going to hand over to you to see whether we have any questions. Yeah, we've got one question. Um, I would, first of all, I would